climb up there. <laughs> I've got bad thoughts, so you'll have to bear with me down here instead. Um, I'm Zita Holborn, I'm from the Public and Commercial Services Union National Executive. I'm also from a, a UK campaign group called Black Activists Rising Against Cuts. At our conference last month, the PCS conference, um, delegates voted unanimously to support the Defend the Right to Protest campaign to fight on behalf of anybody um, you know, that is oppressed by the police when they're demonstrating and asserting their right um, to protest and um, you know, to counter the media myths and stories that are out there surrounding um, demonstrations. So every demonstrator here, everybody who's up on charges, everybody that's attacked by the police has the full support of the PCS union. Um, just to say a bit about black activists rising against cuts, we're a UK campaign group that campaigns against the, the racism of cuts because every cut that's happening in the UK is going to have a disproportionate impact on black and minority ethnic organisations, service users, um, workers and communities and individuals and from that perspective we know that the police don't like black people, they don't like young people, they don't like students, they don't like black people, they don't like trade union activists. So we're disproportionately impacted when we're at these um, types of protests and demonstrations. I myself have been charged at, by mounted police and also attacked and assaulted by the police. And it was no um, coincidence, I don't think, that at the particular protest where I was assaulted by the police, that the police um, targeted specifically a 14 year old boy and myself as a black woman. Yeah, we're in a sea of people that were there. He went for us in particular. So I will be fighting and pursuing a, a civil claim against that officer and the officer arrested the young boy um, subsequently and said he attacked him when he strangled that young boy and um, it went to court and the, the young boy was found not guilty and so it should be because he had the right to self-preservation and he had a right to defend himself. I say that um, you know we have to stand up and fight on behalf of every single person that's under attack by this government and under attack by the police. The right to protest is a human right and we must protest. We haven't got any choice because if we don't protest everything's going to get even worse and things are bad enough already. We've got to fight for that right to protest and we've got to assert our right to protest. It's a fundamental part of campaigning and bringing about change and historically has brought around change. Carry on the fight. You've got our full support from PCS and Barrack and let's hope that justice is served in there.